Hey guys, I wanted to walk you through some uh, helpful ways to improve your site's SEO, uh, specifically by naming pictures. So this is a company that I work with, a real client, and if we type in Doors, Panama City, Florida, we have done uh, very well there first on uh, SEO. So this is great. It's been a great success. Let me walk you through some of the ways we got to that position. Now they had done some good SEO before I started working with them, so I really just needed to maintain their SEO. Um, and let me show you how uh, how I do that. So, of course, you can do a ton of stuff through the menu in Wix, uh, and, and that's where you want to start for sure. In this video, I'm just going to talk about naming pictures, creatively naming pictures. And you should name every image on your site. So of course you can go up here and you can do the SEO here and you want to have of course uh, a lot of uh, rich uh, information pages. You want to have a lot of good content. That's going to be a great way to, uh, to drive uh, SEO. Um, and nothing, nothing beats having a lot of users using your site. So you want to make your site really useful. So uh, most SEO is actually accomplished through marketing. Once you have a useful site, then getting people to go to your site, getting people to uh, to log on, that's going to drive more SEO than anything else. But there are some things you can do to really help. So for instance, right now, if I go to this image and I go to settings, I look at the tooltip and right now I've just named it door3.png. That's when I, when I worked on it in Photoshop and I exported it, I had that name. Um, so this is an opportunity to do a little bit of SEO. Doors, Panama City, Florida. And we'll name the tooltip that as well. And you want to go through each of those, and this is going to be Windows. So we want to do Windows, Panama City. Maybe we want to do, ooh, maybe we want to mix it up a little bit. Maybe we want to do Windows Bay County and optimize for that search phrase. So you want to do that with all of your images. Make sure you don't waste any images. Each image is a chance to add to your total SEO puzzle. So hope this was helpful, guys. It's that simple. Make sure to hit publish when you're done. Um, and of course, on an individual page, you might have different kinds of pictures. Like in this case, I have these pictures. Now, if I preview this and I hover over this picture, you see how it says www5.jpg. Well, a lot of sites do that. They, their tooltip is just whatever they name the picture. But what we want to do is come in here and be very specific. Cloud Windows, Panama City, Florida. And then I'll put that in both places. So now when somebody hovers over that picture, a, very, a, helpful, a, a helpful search phrase will come up. It will not only create more value for your uh, users, but it will also add to your SEO puzzle. So hope this was, uh, and again, like here, I'm going to go back and I'm going to rename all of these because they need to be more helpful. The tool tips need to actually tell a story and add to SEO. So maybe for this one, since we are an Anderson Windows and Doors dealer, maybe we're going to do Anderson Windows Canva City, Florida. And I'll copy that and put it in both places. So now I have a lot of work to do. I have hundreds of pictures on this site to uh, rename. But as you're working through for your client to, to uh, help them in SEO, you want to make sure that you don't waste a single picture. So guys, it's crucial. I mean, there's tons of ways to drive SEO, but this is one crucial way. Using pictures, titling them, and making sure to assign tooltips that capture your optimal search phrases. Um, again, find out what your optimal search phrases are using something uh, like uh, the, the free uh, Google tools available for search phrases in your area. And then once you find and identify those search phrases, make sure you're labeling uh, pictures accordingly. If you guys have any questions, feel free to ask. If you like this video, please subscribe. I'm going to be releasing more helpful videos for web development, SEO, design, uh, marketing, and uh, all, all that kind of stuff. So hopefully, hopefully you'll uh, find something you like, and I look forward to seeing you again.